This December, Ford achieved its goal of becoming the second most popular EV maker in the US. The company has released an array of amazing electric cars in the past couple of years. Unfortunately, most of them are too expensive for you and me. Ford realizes that capturing the low-income segment of customers is essential, which is why they plan to introduce their cheapest electric car. In this video, we look at Ford's most affordable EV offering and see whether it is worth it. Stay tuned. Ford has been planning an affordable EV for the past couple of years. Still, they've kept it under wraps until Martin Sander, head of Ford's Model E electrification division, finally confirmed that it would arrive in early 2023. This new Ford will be the first mass-produced, low-cost EV. This new Ford will be a crossover built to compete with Tesla's Model Y, Volkswagen's ID4, and the Toyota BZ4X. Ford wants to rebrand its design identity, and it's rumored that the new affordable Ford will have boxy design cues taken from the popular Bronco and blended with a futuristic all-in-one grille. There's also going to be the trademark light bar connecting both headlights. Ford teamed up with Volkswagen and is utilizing its MEB platform to underpin this new EV. This versatile platform is used by the Audi Q4 e-tron, Cupra Born, Skoda Enya, Volkswagen ID3, ID4, ID6, and the Volkswagen ID Buzz. We can therefore estimate its efficiency and expect it to produce 295 horsepower and reach a maximum range of 275 miles on a single charge. The battery supports DC fast charging, but can be charged at home on a 110 or 240 volt connection. Ford claims this will give the driver an extra 32 miles of range per hour with home charging. Ford's next-generation SYNC infotainment system uses machine learning to customize each driver's experience fully. A large 15.5-inch touchscreen allows easy access to the system's array of apps, which we expect to be included. Ford's support over-the-air updates have been a game-changer for resolving small recalls that can now be fixed with a software change. Henry Ford introduced the Ford Model T 100 years ago, a revolutionary car at the time. He famously proclaimed that he'd build a motor car for the great multitude. It would be so affordable that everyone would be able to own one. He wanted his cars to be within reach of the middle class and work to keep prices low by using efficient production methods and keeping his labor costs down. The Ford Maverick followed this principle. They delivered a car for the masses far more affordable than any competing pickup on the market. Now, Ford is set to do it again, and a price even lower than the Maverick, which starts at $23,670, is expected for this new release. Suppose they can deliver an all-electric SUV crossover for $20,000. In that case, we could be approaching the tipping point of mass adoption. Jim Farley has accepted the task of transitioning this 100-year-old company from a floated blue chip that was comfortable to a fast and lean EV company capable of seriously challenging Tesla. Recently, the Ford CEO has focused on two critical issues, one markups. If you've seen or heard of a car sold way above MSRP, then you know what we're talking about. Dealer markups have plagued the industry, and customers are fed up. Jim Farley has battled with dealers to end the shady practice. Now it looks like he has come out victorious. 2. Quality Control Ford has been through a wave of recalls, which only seems to worsen. The company has had to recall over a million vehicles this year alone. Jim Farley had proclaimed that every Ford vehicle would be released to the market after it passed the strictest quality control test. It's the most important initiative in the whole company, and it's going to take several years, Farley reportedly said. Many of Ford's future electric vehicles will be based on the Volkswagen MEB chassis, at least in Europe and potentially other global markets. This isn't the first time Ford has done something like this. Facing the Jaguar S-Type off the Mondeo, for example, it still needs to be determined exactly what will distinguish a Ford build on the MEB platform from a Volkswagen with an identical foundation. It'll become more apparent when Ford officially unveils their new car next March. Henry Ford was one of the most influential innovators of the 20th century. He revolutionized how we work, travel, and think about the world. Ford changed how we live and work, from his iconic Model T automobile to his vision of mass production and the assembly line. 
His ethos was that hard work in producing quality products would drive innovation, efficiency, and profitability. The new Ford EV is strongly rumored to be given a name from one of Ford's iconic discontinued models, potentially even the Model T Tesla's mission, is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. They seek to create products that are not just the best in the world, but also affordable and accessible to everyone. But Teslas are super expensive and out of reach for most. Now Ford is beating them to the punch by releasing the first low-priced true mass-market EV, and they may change the world for the second time, with the new EV plant being explicitly repurposed for EVs. Ford can start to compete seriously with the market leader in Europe, but do they have what it takes to challenge Tesla globally? Let us know in the comments. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.